What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jax. Good morning from Canada. Hope you're doing well. Incredible Super Bowl. The halftime show was so amazing. I absolutely loved it. And it looks like everyone who watched the Super Bowl woke up this morning like, didn't I see a commercial about a crypto crypto.com <laughs> and they went and bought some bitcoin no probably not guys but we are seeing a nice little increase in price so we are going to go over bitcoin as well as ethereum we're sitting at 42,706 we're sitting at a market cap of 806 billion 24 hour volume 19.61 billion ladies and gentlemen if you're new to crypto.com sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app maybe you caught their commercial yesterday in the super bowl and you can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cash back and crypto. Free Spotify, Netflix, Prime Travel Incentives. $25 just for signing up through Marfro. So let's get into the price of Bitcoin. So I noticed this symmetrical triangle. Now, a lot of people were calling it a descending triangle. I didn't really see that. And a symmetrical wedge, it's not biased towards the upside or the downside. But we have broken out a little bit here, which is good to see. We're sitting at 42,500. Um, I al also noticed a small inverse head and shoulders here on the one hour time frame, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and we've broken that neckline. So your target is 43.1, and then your symmetrical wedge target is 43.6K. We did put in a beautiful bullish divergence on the one hour time frame, push back above the EMAs on the daily. So what we wanna see, we're having our back tests right now. We hold them as support and we see continuation. So what I wanna show you guys is the Bitcoin short positions. They're getting absolutely smashed. They're getting absolutely wrecked, guys. When people are really bearish, look for reasons to be bullish because this is when the whales take advantage. They liquidate all the people going short and they push the price right back up. Just when people get overly bullish, guys, everyone starts buying in and the whales start selling. They liquidate the long positions and price starts to drop quickly, guys. We are seeing a little bit of drop off in the longs as well, but not nearly as much as in the short positions. Just a little bit of a bearish diversion but you can see the short positions are just getting absolutely wrecked with this breakout for BTC guys so that's a good sign as well it can we'll pump money into BTC as the exchanges liquidate those positions and start buying back Bitcoin which can increase the price of course we could have like a bull trap where it pushes up it rolls over and it comes back down if that were to happen guys I will give you a breakdown target but this is the first time we got back above the hourly EMAs for like two days guys so you can see here, it would bring you down to about 40K. But as of right now, we have broken out. We're seeing a little bit of a back test. So as long as we hold the EMAs, we see some nice volume. We can break out. Of course, we have the Fed meeting today, the emergency meeting at, um, what time is that? Like 1230. But we are seeing a nice breakout in the market. Ethereum's up 2% as well. We're going to get into that. So we'll jump over to our next chart for BTC. So we can see here, guys, we beautifully kissed the 20 EMA, which is exactly what we want to see. We wicked down. The bears tried to push down the price. We hit the 20 EMA and the bulls are like that's beautiful we pushed right back up so hopefully what we see that can be a sign of a reversal in the trend just as it was here guys we pushed up the bears pushed the price right back down sign of reversal in the trend we went through a correction and we put in a beautiful ABC let me pop it open here on the four hour time frame we put in a beautiful A B C correction so if we can break out we get back above the emas on the four hour as well you can see a beautiful bullish divergence that we can see our breakout back to the upside and head towards the technical target of our falling wedge coming in at forty five thousand. so let's pop over to our next chart on the daily we have our beautiful descending browning wedge you can see we beautifully kissed the 20 ema we're currently holding the 0.5 so if we get back above the golden ratio higher likelihood you're coming right back up to where you started we have our beautiful inverse head and shoulders guys i told you i said i i don't think of course anything can happen i could be wrong but i said i don't think it's likely we're coming down to 38 39 000. I, I showed you guys the williams indicator on the weekly that calls the bottoms i'll show it to you quickly one more time here left shoulder head right shoulder guys we've broken out you drop in your neckline I told you guys, I said, if we do retrace, people are going to get really, really bearish while we put in this right shoulder. They're going to think we're going to go into a bear market, and then we come back up, we break out, and I'll give you our technical target. Of course, it could be a bullish fake out. It could be completely wrong. It's just my opinion. It's not financial advice, so take it with a grain of salt, guys. So we would break out probably right around here, and that would take you all the way up to 61K for BTC. So we'll quickly pop open. Uh, let me grab the right chart for it. This is Bitfinex should work i'm only going to go over this quickly because i've just gone over it in quite a few videos already so if you want to find this 
indicator guys come up to indicators and type in cmw and it's the cm williams background highlighter and what it does is it flash greens when it thinks bitcoin has bought them and it's been extremely accurate and as i've been mentioning guys oh just okay this is the wrong chart sorry guys let me grab a better chart here so it can show it uh without the distractions all right this looks better guys so as you can see here when it flash green we push back up and unless we're going to see a bear market as i've been mentioning that we've never seen in the history of bitcoin then we have bottomed out just as we did here flash green bull market guys flash green bull market flash green beautiful pump back to the upside and we've just flashed green and we're still waiting as i've been mentioning for that third demand wave our alt season and our fifth impulse away from our Elliott Wave Theory, which we've seen in each and every bull run. Think about how long Bitcoin has been around. It's been around during the Iraq wars. It's been around through crises. It's been around with things going on with North Korea. And Elliott Wave Theory has never failed in every single bull run. We've gone through our five waves. And we've also gone through three demand waves. And we're waiting for that third demand wave, that alt season, and that and the fifth impulse away from our Elliott Wave Theory. Unless we're going to see a bear market that we've never seen in the history of Bitcoin. However, I've been talking about the weekly money flow being absolutely in the floor. And every time it's been this low, we've seen a huge bounce back to the upside. So these are the reasons that I'm bullish. These are the reasons that I think the bottom is in. I could be wrong, guys. And, and if I am wrong, of course, I'll admit that. But as of right now, we are starting to break out a little bit back to the upside, but we still have a lot of work to do. So let's look at Ethereum, guys. Same thing for ETH. We have a descending broadening channel with a beautiful bullish divergence on the one hour. Let me just remove this squiggly. My apologies, guys. And uh, we've broken back above the EMAs on the hourly for the first time since about, when did we break down? We broke down right here. Since February 10th, February 11th, guys. So, so two weeks we've been under the hourly EMAs and we've just pushed up back above them, guys. If we look on the four hour time frame as well, beautiful bullish divergence. We can see lower lows, higher lows, signifying the bears are running out of strength. So we have a big test here on the four hour EMAs. If we can push back above them, we could see a breakout. Of course, it could be a bull trap where we push up and people start entering long trades and we start to roll over. I don't think it's a likely scenario, but it is a possibility, guys. We'll pop over to our next chart here for Ethereum. We're putting in our beautiful right shoulder. We're underneath the 20 EMA on the daily, which isn't great, guys. So we want to get back above it. Left shoulder head, and we're putting in a beautiful right shoulder. And we've bounced off a major, major level of support. Look at all the support in this area, guys. Look at the resistance right here. So if ETH is going to put in that right shoulder, this is this beautiful opportunity to push back up to this neckline. Break 3025. You can see a lot of support in this area. Now now flip this resistance sorry guys and then come up and break this neckline let me actually pull it out the neckline is about right here and come up and break 3287 create that daily uptrend get back above the emas and push all the way up to 49 4900 guys We'll see what happens with the Fed meeting. I think the news would have to be extremely bearish for the markets just to take a dump. Maybe it's not Maybe the news isn't that serious and won't affect the markets that badly. The last Fed meeting really didn't affect the markets at all, in my opinion. It just was going through the normal corrections. So we'll see what happens today at 1230 in Washington, D.C. But beautiful sign to see those Bitcoin long positions get liquidated with this little bit of push up. But we are seeing a little bit of drop off with the longs as well. So that is something to keep an eye on here. So we do have to watch Bitcoin very, very closely, guys. Of course, you can have a bullish fake out. Just as we did right here, we had a bearish fake out. It broke down and then it threw right back up into the pattern. So right now we've broken out and we're back testing, but of course you can just fall right back down into the pattern once again and see continuation of that squeeze. If it does break down, guys, it will bring us down to 40K, which is still healthy in my opinion as we put in that right shoulder. You can see this left shoulder here came down to 40K, actually wicked all the way down to about 39.6K. Technically, we could still come a little bit lower and create that right shoulder, but if we lose 40K, in my opinion, if we lose this level of support and we start coming back down to about 38,000, that's pretty bearish in my opinion. So I do believe today is a massive day for our friend Bitcoin to see if we're going to break out here or if we're going to see continuation to the downside. But this is the first time we pushed back above the EMAs for a couple weeks now for our friend Bitcoin. So that's it for this one, guys. Shout out to the Discord. Over 1,000 members talking all things crypto, posting chart patterns, actually almost 2,000 members. Over 1,800 members, as well as the DCA trade strategy fully explained. 
the DCA charts for the live trades on the channel, guys, as well as daily buy and take profit zones if you want to start dollar cost averaging into your positions. Price of a coffee, 350 USD. You really can't beat it. And I will see you in the next video. If you want to trade with me, sign up to Bybit. All right, peace, much love. Take care.